Hey, how are you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another episode of rebuilding a JDM Classic. Uh, we're working on a FB RX-7 that we are restoring uh, from the ground up. But today it's a super special day for us because we are going to be doing the first uh, unboxing of, <coughs> you know, uh, products that we that we bought for the uh, uh, FBRX7. This one in particular, it's a prototype product. It's uh, Visual Auto Works um, FB uh, window vents. These are amazing. I've actually used them before on other vehicles that I've had. They uh, they organize a group buy with uh, with a couple of the FB, you know, first gen RX-7 uh, groups on uh, Facebook, and they actually, you know, gave us the opportunity to have a couple of prototypes. I was one of the lucky ones that was able to uh, get a set just because, um, you know, I got in, for number one, I got in early. I'm not even at the stage on the vehicle that I should be putting these on, but I wanted to be one of the first ones to have them. So I just so I could review them for you guys and, and tell you, you know, Fitman, if it's a good product, if it's something that I would recommend for your vehicle. So um, let's start with the unboxing. <clears throat> let's start with the unboxing. Um, basically, this is how it came in the mail. I did open it before uh, just to check if there was any uh, shipping damages and all that before I took delivery. So basically, you know, average envelope type box. They come bubble wrap, okay? Um, they come bubble wrap and two vents. These vents, uh, guys, they're made of ABS plastic. I actually wanted the option of having the mesh grill. Um, the mesh, basically what it's gonna do is a plastic mesh. What it's gonna do is, um, you know, not allow debris, um, you know, anything to come in the vehicle. Um, reason I had the mesh uh, option on them also is because me, I track my vehicles. I, uh, you know, I'd like to play in every um, event out there. Is it a quarter mile, autocross, um, solo one, um, half mile, mile event? I take it everything. And sometimes um, you leave your vehicle open, um, you leave your vehicle. Um, you know, unattended and people throw stuff in it. Um, they do, you know, also it keeps the temperatures inside the vehicle low. Now, why do we want um, vents? Two reasons, you know, keep the temperatures low at the track, cruising, um, if you have an animal or whatsoever. The second one is appearance. These look great. Now, let's see what else uh, is in the box. What else uh, we got, of course, the, the vents. Let me tell you this, these vents, they're site specific. Um, and I, when, I, when I'm doing the installation, I'll actually uh, walk you through them. Um, but also in the box, in the box there's um, instruction manual and I dropped, um, So in the box, there's a instruction, detailed instruction manual. These are easily to install. Um, they are uh, four steps according to the Visual Auto Works uh, instruction manual. Um, you have a little a Visual Auto Works, Works decal. And then uh, you, you basically have a thank you card um, on front with a, you know, thank you, thanking you for your purchase, um, little, um, you know, little disclaimers here and there. Please be sure to um, have your window lock switch turn on when the vents are installed and remove the vents when leaving the vehicle unattended for an extended period of time. Um, blah, 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 so on and so, 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 so on and so forth. Um, guys, my car doesn't have uh, electronic windows. It doesn't have nothing. So, you know, I could throw this away, especially with a Subaru in the back. So, let me uh, move the camera and all that so we could um, 
um, to show you how to install this. So guys, um, basically I'm in the passenger side um, for only one reason, my driver's side uh, window um, doesn't uh, work. And of course I am documenting all of this build. Um, so I already have the parts to fix it. I just didn't want to do it before um, doing this. Um, so just because I want to document that part, I got these on the mail yesterday um, and I had promised I was going to do a, a review for them. So I needed to do it. Um, just so you know, we are going to be using the instructions manual that, uh, well, the instruction sheet that Visual Auto Works sent. Of course, you know, 90% of us could do this without instructions. It's just as easy as setting them up and closing the um, the window. But I want to follow the instructions just to show you guys a little bit um, how it's, uh, you know, how they suggest you do it. So first step is open the window about four inches. Already, you can see I'm doing it wrong. My window is open more than four inches, but um, just so, so you know that's about you know four inches. Let's leave it at that. Um, second step is window ver window uh, vents are site specific. The inside portion of the window vent will have the large glossy gap on top where the inside weather stripper will sit. Okay, so basically what they're telling you is there is there's a driver and passenger. If you notice here, you're going to have a corrugated uh, side and then on the inside, you're going to have a glossy side. So the glossy side goes to the inside, um, cor corrugated goes to the outside. So, basically, okay, that's, uh, um, it's hard to follow instructions. Um, so, once again, part of the second step is you are going to insert the vent inside of, oops, wrong side, okay. So, you are going to insert the vent on the track. My car, just so you guys know, needs a new, um, window seals so it's going to be a little bit harder to put in but basically it goes like that okay here you're just going to have to manually you know press it a little bit bend it a little bit sorry and once again my window seal needs to be uh, changed so once you do that it'll slide in perfectly, okay? So there you go, it slides in perfectly. Now, the quality of this ABS, is a, it's a two part, um, two parts of ABS uh, with uh, studs holding plastic, plastic screws basically, uh, plastic rivets holding um, the two parts together with the mesh in the inside. So once you see that, look at the fit, I want to move the camera real quick so you can look closely at the fit of the so this the quality of it is amazing look at the seal if you look at all the seal it's this is a heck of a, of a product of course once again I already knew this um, just because I've used this product before So quality is great guys um, don't hesitate to buy it once they put them on the website of course You know, I have to say I was again one of the lucky ones to Okay, so you saw the quality of the fitment on it um, It's a great product Again, it's a two piece of ABS plastic with rivets and the um, 
Uh, the mesh, if you chose that option, like I said, I wanted it just because of uh, um, what I've explained before. If you choose not to have it, it, it provides better ventilation. Also, the from previous experience, the mesh will cut a lot on a uh, uh, noise, on wind noise coming in. So that will it, it works. I don't know if you've seen the sunroofs. Whenever you open the sunroof, there's that little uh, uh, mesh that comes up and is held by a spring load system. It works just like that. It, it stops a lot of the noise. Now, all you have to do is, and of course my window, it's not the greatest example just because um, how it's set, but step three is this one. So step three reads as uh, once the vent is completely installed into the window track, slowly roll the window up while guiding the top of the window into the vent window channel along the bottom. This step might take a couple of attempts to line up the vents perfectly, which is, if you see, if you do the, the step two, uh, you know, fairly well, it's super easy to do the rest. So it says a couple of steps, but you know, I got it in, in one. That's just the fitment of this in the FP. It's perfect. Of course, my window, like I said, I do have new mechanism. So my window is not sitting properly. But even though if I manually uh, get it there, it will close perfect. Okay, so here's the vent. There you go. So that's the vent. Um, this is a great product. Just so you guys know, great product. Um, first hand quality. I've used it before. Heat doesn't do anything to it. I think there's uh, there's three color options that you could choose uh, to do the vent. I chose black. Well, I didn't choose black. Black was the only uh, um, option on the prototype. So guys, this, uh, <clears throat> this vent is going to be available for for everyone to purchase in about as soon as, soon as they could get production. So it's uh, www.visualautoworks.com. Um, they will um, have them for you guys. They might do a group buy for you guys. Just uh, uh, get organized, and uh, you could get you know a good quality product for an affordable price. Also, if you like what you see, I do a lot of product reviews. Um, I am rebuilding the vehicle for um, the channel. Um, everything is going to be, be done step by step. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. It's Man Media TV and uh, YouTube, Man Media TV on Instagram. Please follow us. We're building, right now we're building three cars at a time, which is a lot of work, but um, you guys are going to like it. Mostly, mo uh, Most likely two of these cars, including the RX-7, one of the, uh, one of my uh, followers is going to end up with it. So if you like what you see, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and um, follow us on, on, on Instagram. Thank you guys. Have a great night.